is the football. So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. On the ground, this is Rashad Penny, and he's going to be taken down right at about the 15-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Come on, oh, come on now. Let's go. On second down, here's Penny. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Give the tackle to Hassan Reddick. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Come on now, oh, come on now, let's go. Now Wentz on third down. It's caught. Lock it. Oh, it still won't go down. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. And a nice gain of 21 yards. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. Yeah, we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got the turnover. We appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. Dancing to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, Quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Here's a give to Penny. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size and these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Shotgun now for Wentz. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Cards will take over, first and 10. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. The first down carry here for Johnson. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move Pepper, laterally Pepper. and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Throwing left side, it's 
complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 30. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10, right at the 40. They'll hand it off now, Johnson. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. His throw caught at about the five. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. As his guys are in for six. And the Cardinals are in for six. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. They will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. They go play action here on first down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Line of scrimmage again the 25, second and 10. The pitch goes to Penny, and not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Hang in there now. Hang in there now. From the gun, it's Wins. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. It's a net of 40 there, a punt of 48, and a return of eight. And out will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Now a play fake here on first down. Underneath for Johnson. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. 
And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play, but what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles. Touchdown, Cardinals! Ricky Seals-Jones, his sixth touchdown of the season, and the Cardinals will extend their lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. The extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Working from the gun. Wentz. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Wentz going to throw. He's going to let this one go deep. And got his man complete. A gain of 39 that time. I know they had good coverage downfield, but you have to wonder, on third and long like that, how does that happen that they can get that far downfield and complete a pass? You've got to guard the sticks, understand where you are, so it's almost like someone fell asleep in the switch. And now that the play's been completed, they've got to dust themselves off on defense, pick it up, and figure out how to not let that happen again. Penny, the first down carry, and that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Two minutes to go here in the first half. More from the desert after this. to throw on second down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 38. Breaks a tackle. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down to the hands of the wrong team. Try and start this drive in the air. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. This quarterback now, only one pass has hit the ground for him. 10 of 11 thus far. It's first and 10. They'll set up to throw. Stepping up, he'll try and run. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Lucky 56! Lucky 56! On play action. 
action. They'll throw. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Something we haven't really seen much of from him, an incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Carlson able to put this one through. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit him, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was a nice score. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level you hit them, they go through. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And out now come the Seahawks. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Hassan Reddick in there to get him, and that's sack number six for him on the year. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Hey, here we go, here we go. Now Wentz. And he spots Henderson open left side. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. So, so he comes out of nowhere. He's got this handlebar mustache, greasy hair. And he says, would you rather eat a jar of mayonnaise or three sticks of butter? And I look, well, all right, never mind. Third quarter action now. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Over the middle, he finds Henderson complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. Hang in there now. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first down, Wentz. Oh, that was dangerous. Threw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. His struggles finding open receivers continue. I don't know the last time I saw him this inconsistent throwing the football. It would be hard to find a date when he was this inconsistent. You know, in his locker, he keeps the word poise printed on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. He needs to find that poise right now. He certainly does. In fact, I would suggest he laminated. They'll toss it to Penny. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. Well, they certainly haven't been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got a chance to pin their ears back and get after him now. 
This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing now is Wins. Looking for Lockett, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. And here's Marshall. And an alley to run. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Following the penalty, it's Johnson. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, Johnson. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Back to throw. Going to throw deep for the end zone. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Hot, 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 hot. Looking to throw. And incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise. Because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it, it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They come out here in the eye. They'll give it to him up the middle. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stop that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. They'll look to throw on third and goal. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. In for the score. And the Cards use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is now 24. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far... Just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. Buying.
some time to his left. And it's incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Back to the air on second down, Wentz. Throw right side, gonna be taken in by Henderson. 30, 20, and all the way in, touchdown Seattle. A big play there, his second touchdown on the season. And the Seahawks are able to close the gap just a bit. Dan Bailey now for the extra point. I was just about to say he hadn't missed an extra point all season, but there it is, his first miss, no good. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he breaks it all the way out to the 38 yard line, great return. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because to be ahead of the defense that much where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. Now Marshall. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard and it'll set up third down. The Cardinals on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. He'll drop to throw. Pressure comes, he's taken down by the Seahawk defense. That's his second sack of the game, the best defensive ends. They do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. First down. And that'll be incomplete. Again from the 20 after the incompletion. Here's second and 10. The toss running left. This is Penny. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. On third and long, it's Wins. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. 
Catch number 40 for him on the year. It's a first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game on, of football. Right. You're getting better okay. athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. On first and ten, here's Wentz. Throw left side complete. It's Henderson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Wentz now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Wentz. Forced out to his left. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. And I have to admit, partner, that I've often thought that I don't like this rule where the offensive player fumbles the ball, it goes out of bounds, and they get to keep it. <laughs> that's just because you're a defensive guy. That's why you don't like it. Yeah, you're right. It is a slanted view, isn't it? But that's this is where, for the offensive team, the sideline is their friend. Usually it's not their friend. Yeah, exactly right. I actually played for a guy in college. You know what he used to hang name the sideline? Sammy. Sammy sideline and use him well. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. Throwing on second down. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Wentz now 9 of 17 through the air. Shotgun now for Wentz. Steps away to his left. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Seahawks are able to cut into that deficit. As you know, I love the players of the past. But the players of the present and their mobility to move around and play quarterback, we just saw the end result of a guy that can shake it and find a guy open downfield. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. Here's a play fake as they set up the throw. Seahawk defense gets to him and they bring him down. Now Zaire Jones breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Watch it now, Barney, Barney! <laughs> they'll run it with Johnson. Another spin. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. 14 yards there on the pickup, and it'll be third down. In today's NFL, when you get teams in long yardage situations with your defense, you're really going to go to your speed packages. You're going to get smaller, lighter guys on the field in order to cover the expected pass. So they might want to run the ball against a smaller, lighter lineup with your big guys, and that's exactly what happened on that one. And a loose football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Partner, that 
one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Wentz. Steps away to the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. First is Wentz. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. They'll try one four with Penny. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Here we go, here we go. On second down, here's Wentz. Leaves it for Penny. No gain on that one, and it's going to bring up a third down. Usually the offense has an answer to anything a defense throws at them, including a safety valve, and that's what they did on that play. They went there, but the defense still made an excellent play and held them to no game. You got to think this is likely four down territory anyway, but they'll try to punch it in now on third and goal. Throwing his wins. Being chased out left. And that is incomplete. So it looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. Now Wentz, got to have this one. And he's going to be intercepted on third. And I do believe this is going to wind up a safety. It is. It's a safety. How about that for a wacky play? Wow, what a disaster. You talk about a guy making a good play on the interception and then just trying to be too cute on the return. It almost felt like his own gyroscope really got out of whack, didn't it? Going backwards into your own end zone after such a great play totally disoriented and gave up two points for his team. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sidelines? Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Here's Penny on the counter. And it'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. Here we go, here we go. 
They'll try and run for it with Penny. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Dancing to his left. And that is incomplete. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now it's him carry for Johnson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Right, here we go. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the Cardinals, the win pushes their record now to 11-2 on the year. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, for the...